All right, so I wanted to quickly cover the audit. Before we do that in settings, I want to show a few things. Um, one is what I have highlighted here, which is hide the expected quantity column during the audit. So when I go in and put in a site and location in the audit, if this is not checked, there's going to be a column with the expected quantity, basically what is in inventory now according to the system. So it's going to show me 15, for example, and then I would go in and put in the audited quantity, how many I really counted. Most people prefer to turn that off, to hide it, to check it, because if I hide it, then it doesn't show me. A lot of people are like, hey, if it tells my people that I have 15, they're not going to bother to count. They're just going to put in 15. Um, so it's kind of up to the the each individual company on when they do the audit at that point do they want to see what they're supposed to have or if there's a discrepancy they can see that in the reconcile the other is perform a blind audit if this is checked when you put in a site and location it doesn't even show you what the items are this is i had this pulled up before I uncheck that, so this is currently in blind audit mode. I put in the site, I put in the location, and it shows me that I have three items to audit. I have an audit. I've audited zero of those three items. It doesn't even show me which items. Whereas in this one, this is with blind audit turned off. I put in a site and location, I hit fetch. It shows me the three items. So again, it's kind of a personal preference on those. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, perform an audit. Um, I've set up three different types of items. I have one that's just a regular item. It has no additional track buys. One of these is tracked by a serial number, and then one of them is tracked by a lot number. Uh, this iPhone X, this is there's no track buys, so I can just come over here and say, all right, how many I put? In? I count 11 at Warehouse One at this location. All right. Now these these have track buys, um, so to audit those. I'm going to click on the down arrow next to that row, and I can see the serial numbers. All right, this says we should have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm just going to put. I say I found each of those three serial numbers there. I'm going to put that in there. Now this one is tracked by lot, so I'm going to expand that row, and it shows me the different lot numbers that we have. So I'm going to say we have five with lot number one, two, three. I go to the shelf and I see six with lot number four, five, six. It'd be the same if date code. Um, so whoops, I need to say how many I have with each of those. I'm going to complete the audit. So now I've done the audit. Now I'm gonna go to the reconcile. <clears throat> open this up in another window so I'm going to put in my site and location hit fetch items now this is only going to pull up discrepancies so if what I audited was the same as what the system had that doesn't show up in here because there's nothing to no changes to be made. So this is only going to show the discrepancies. So in this example, the iPhone X, there were 10. I counted 11, so there was off by one. Um, I could just leave it as 11 and, and hit reconcile with that checked, and it changes that to 11. If for whatever reason I did a double check and you know what, whoever counted 11 was wrong, it really is 10, I could come in here and put in 10. Whatever I have here, when I hit reconcile, that's what it's going to change it to. Um, this one had track buys, so <clears throat> I can come in here and it was for lot number 456. Software had that I had five, but I audited six. <clears throat> so same thing. If I just hit reconcile, it's going to change it to say we have six at this location with that lot number instead of five. But I could come in here and change it if, if for whatever reason. Um, 
anything now that I want to reconcile, I'm going to put a check mark beside those. Um, I could check mark everything. If there's something that, hey, I need to go back and, and have my guys do a double check, I can um, deselect that and it won't um, take any action on that right now. I'm going to hit reconcile. It's just letting me know, hey, it's going to update those numbers. <clears throat> Gotta check that. <laughs> and now it has reconciled my audit. So uh, again, it'll only show things on the reconcile that there was a discrepancy. Everything was good. There's no point in that because there's no change to be made. Um, so hopefully that helps with the audit. Obviously, then I can go in and, and run um, some different audit reports. Audit history by date, by uh, number accepted. If I just want to see um, <clears throat> discrepancies, I can do that. Uh, if I want to see anything that we didn't audit, I could go in there, put in a time frame, choose a site location, um, <clears throat> or, and say, all right, anything at this, you know, that fit that criteria that we didn't audit during that. <clears throat> uh, so hopefully that helps with the understanding of the audit. Again, it's just basically a way to, to reconcile counts, you know, make make sure what the software says is what we currently have at that location. And if not, it can correct it.